Hi and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 30th of January 2020 and the time has just gone 18.05 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is gold. Um, gold has seen uh, its demand pick up uh, in the last few sessions. Given uh, what's going on in, in, the, uh, in, in the health crisis in relation to the coronavirus, uh, we've seen a particular day of heavy selling on stock markets around the world today. Uh, and with that, we've seen traders seek out assets that are deemed to be low, lower risk, uh, so such as gold. Uh, so we can see here that gold for the last couple of sessions has pushed higher. If we take a look at the wider price action of gold, we can see here it's been in a solid upward trend for many months. In, set in um, early or this year, in January, in early, in early January, uh, the metal hit its highest level since 2013. It's about a six, six and a half year high. That was in the back of the tensions with the RAN. So the market hit a multi year high. It's cooled off. And now, and now with, the, uh, with the unfortunate health crisis that we're seeing, uh, largely in China but around the world, we are seeing the demand for the metal push higher yet again. Now, if you take a look at just to kind of recap of what's going on in terms of stock markets, today the FTSE dropped to a six week low. The DAX over Germany dropped. To a, a one-month low. Not too long ago, um, the U.S. health authorities um, announced that, uh, that that it had the first confirmed case of person-to-person -person transmitted coronavirus in the U.S. Um, and with so now that it's in the U.S., unfortunately, this this is open up the possibility of things uh, getting worse over there. Um, so this is this is good. Could, this could potentially be uh, a triggering effect. Uh, on US stock markets and indeed stock markets around the world. Now, if you're going to be trading um, the gold market, it is also worth keeping an eye on what's going on in, uh, in stock markets. So I mentioned the, the sell-off in, in uh, the DAX and, the, and, also the CAT, and also the DAX and, uh, and the FTSE. But this is a quick look here at what's going on in Hong Kong because it's in that part of the world. We can see quite an aggressive sell-off in the Hang Seng, the, the Hong Kong market. I fell back uh, to a six-week low, so it's clearly in a, in a strong downward trend. This is obviously in, in a part of the world that's you know close to you know essentially beside mainland China, so it's quite close to uh, quite, quite quite close to the uh, where the where the, where the main issue with the main um, health crisis is. So the, the sharp declines that we're seeing in in Hong Kong is kind of reflected around the world. That could be a, a trigger uh, for further uh, upward um, demand for gold. So if the gold market does press on higher from here, because we're currently around 15.85, if you could press on higher from here, we could be looking at targeting the, the psychologically important $1,600 level. And if you go beyond that, we could be looking at retesting the highs of January in around 16.11. Um, if we do see a bit of a pullback, uh, we could see support come into play in around this zone here, in around 15.62. We saw a bit of consolidation in that area in the last in the last couple of weeks, and even if you drop below that, support could potentially be found in this area here, the lows of mid mid January in around 15.36, and it's all, and even if you drop below that, we could potentially head back towards this price area here in around 15.20. Like I said, even though it's been in a solid upward trend for six, for some time, it's it's hit a over six year high in early January, so the upper trend is still very much intact so it's only really if you can have a size of break below the 50 moving average this blue line here and that comes into play in around 15 11 it's only if you have a size of break below that could then we begin to think you know what maybe the kind of wider upper trend has come to an end so we've talked about potential reasons why gold could move to the upside we've seen stock markets under under mass pressure but one of the issues that, that, that's, that's also if, um, often influences gold is the US dollar. Gold is traded in US dollars, so the weaker the US dollar is, it usually helps gold. Uh, and conversely, the stronger the US dollar is, it usually puts pressure on gold. So the dollar index has been pushing higher um, for the last few weeks. So in a way, it's sort of been acting as a bit of a cap, potentially as a cap to the upward move in gold. So if you are going to be trading the US dollar, if you are going to be trading gold, it's always worth your while keeping an eye on what's going on with the US dollar index. I'm looking at a four, year, four hour chart here. If you draw a little bit between the lines of, uh, of late December to the line to the lows of uh, early January, 
you get this trend line along here. So far, it's been res uh, been respected. Uh, but if you do have a slice of break below that, it could suggest we're in for further losses on the gold on the US dollar, which in turn would potentially be good for gold. Conversely, if gold get, if the US dollar continues to drive on higher from here, that could act either as a as a as a cap to potential gains for the gold market, or it could even actually push gold lower, depending on how things play out. But I'll, for the time being, I would say I would suggest uh, that the the, the health crisis. Uh, that we're seeing in relation to the coronavirus is the uh, is the main story to follow. Uh, if you are trading any of the, uh, the financial markets, uh, gold or any of the markets I've just mentioned, it is worth noting that overnight um, China are going to release some, some important economic indicators, manufacturing and non-manufacturing. These will give us a clue or a, a guide of the of the of the, the strength or the weakness of the Chinese economy, and this in turn could actually uh, move the markets uh, one way or the other. Uh, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much and have a good rest of your week.